Welcome everyone, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Fennec on HiveOS. Okay guys, so as in the same as for the Windows installation videos, you're going to need to go ahead and get yourself a wallet to actually go ahead and mine some Fennec. So you're going to need yourself a Windows PC or a Mac or even a Linux PC. So find yourself over to the fennecblockchain.com and go ahead and grab yourself a wallet of your choice so for myself because uh, i want my windows pc right now i would just go ahead and get this done now as i've already have this if you go ahead and install this in by going through this method um, and you go through the standard installation process uh, it should look a little bit something like this and what you're going to need to do once you do get your wallet open is just take yourself over to your receive and go ahead and put in there any name you want just for this test we're going to put in there hive os and then just go ahead and press create yourself a wallet address and go ahead and press copy the address here so let's take ourselves over to our hive os farm so as you can see here at the moment i'm currently already mining on to some fennec at the moment so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and create a flight sheet so if we take ourselves over to here uh, to our flight sheets and then we go ahead and we press on the coin ticker and if we go ahead in here and we type in yes crypt r16 as you can see there and this is very very important that you get the correct uh, algorithm for this and then what we're going to need to do is we need to go ahead and add ourselves a wallet in there so Let's go ahead and open up our Fennec wallet from before. Go ahead and copy the address as mentioned. Go ahead and paste this in here. Name this anything you'd like. It's not going to affect anything at all. So I'm just going to put Fennec wallet. Okay. And then the source. Let's just go ahead and press create. So now we've got the wallet created on there as well. So let's go ahead and press Z pull because this is the pull that we're going to be using to mine Fennec coin on. Then what we're going to need to do is we need to go ahead and select the miner. So click on the CPU miner opt. Press on the setup miner config. Now let's just go through here and type in yes crypt. And if you can see on the list here, there's a couple with the 16 on. But we have to make sure that we click on this one here to make sure that we're doing it correctly. And also one thing that we're going to need to go ahead and change, we're going to need to go ahead and change out the password uh, on our worker. So if we just go ahead and go to the Z pool, as you can see here, it says conversion disabled on FNNNC. If you want to get paid in Fennec, you need to go ahead and type this basically in a nutshell into your minor password. So let's just go ahead and copy this. I'll leave this for you guys in the description just to make things easy for you. So just go ahead and paste this into here just like that. And then go ahead and set yourself a minor fork for our plant just in case to keep yourself up and running. Now just go ahead and name this anything that you like. So for this I'm going to call this HiveOS Fennec and then press create flight sheet and if everything's created correctly it should just pop down there fine now what we need to do if we take ourselves over to our farms so we can see we've got a couple of, a couple of rigs that have been on there before and they haven't set up correctly just yet but if we just take a little look over here at the rig that switched on if we click on here if we take ourselves over to our flight sheets tab now what we can do is for the Fennec wallet that we have created here as you can see if I press the the rocket so that we can get it you know powered up and get it going that should start if we've done it correctly so as as it says there work it updated successfully so now it's configuring now this may go down to zero and it may take uh, 5 10 15 minutes for it to actually update to let you know uh, whether you're mining but just just bear with it um, as long as everything has been set up correctly you've you put your correct wallet in there and you've gone ahead and you put your password and you have put that in there to make sure it's converting correctly everything should uh, be set up just fine for yourself okay so once this successfully starts to mine you'll start to see uh, a little bit of a graph start to form over here over a period of time to show you what your hash rate is 
on your CPU. So the CPU that I'm running this on at the moment is a Ryzen 5 2600 and like I said I've, I have done a video on the Windows version as well uh, and I'm doing that on a 24 hour test at the moment on a Ryzen 7 uh, 3700 uh, and I'll be releasing a 24 hour video as well very very uh, soon uh, after the release of this video. Okay, so if you want to start to keep track of the earnings of your Fennec, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and grab that wallet address again. So copy that wallet address, take yourself over to Zpool, okay? And what you need to do is in the top search bar, just go ahead and paste in the wallet address for what you're mining for. And as you can see, uh, we've only recently just started up on here. So let's just go back here and just check. So this is for the Hive OS. As you can see there, it started to load up. So it's saying there it's got 546 uh, hashes at the moment. So it's still loading up, still getting itself ready up. And like I say, give that some time as well to load up uh, before its payments start to kick out. And it does have a minimum uh, payout of 0 0.05 uh, FNNT as well on there as well. So like I say, guys, you could go ahead and change the pools and things like that on there as well. So make sure that you take that into consideration as well. So let's just take a little look over on there as well. So you could go ahead and configure the pool. Um, so, you know, if that's something that you want to do, you can just go ahead and enter the URL in here manually. So if we take ourselves over to the minor pool stats, Okay, so there's a varied amount of pools that you guys can go ahead and pick from. So you can go ahead and pick on, uh, pick the R plant pool, or you can pick the Fennec blockchain.com, or any of the pools of your choice. Um, so if we was to go ahead and pick on the Fennec blockchain itself, uh, all you'd need to really do is just go ahead and get the stratum for the south there. So go ahead and press on this, and then go back so that port is 8,200. So if we just take ourselves back over here and we were to just go ahead and do this and then we put the 8,000 was it 200 I think that was how good is my memory let's have a little look 8,200 yeah so that's right and then if we was to go ahead and press apply and then we was to go ahead and update this okay and then we go ahead and press on the rocket again that would go ahead and update and then that would change that was a different uh, flight sheet but like i say that would go ahead and change and then that would start to connect you to the fed up blockchain pool so as i say there guys you can go ahead and connect to any pool of your choice um just make sure sometimes you'd have to go ahead and change up the passwords and, and things like that and they'll have different uh, requirements on each pool okay guys thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions on how to mine or uh, anything along them lines then just go ahead and drop those down in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and try to answer any of those questions as much as I can do and make sure to like and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video peace